Hi everyone, this is Mythical Lane and I am doing a review on this Heaney gouache that I bought off of Amazon. The case is kind of cool because you get this really nice palette with the uh, set. So, and they come in these little jelly-like containers, almost really strange little packaging things. And they're kind of a mess when you're doing them, so you must be careful. Um, when you're opening them, I mean. And yeah. Um, it comes with 18 colors, uh, including two sets of white, which is really important because you want those, um, those whites because it's just very nice mixing with white when you're painting with gouache. So, that's really nice. I really thought so. If you don't know what gouache is, it's described usually, I usually say it's like the baby between watercolor and acrylics. It's got, it, it's a water-based paint that you can use with water, um, but you generally mix white instead of water, instead of like um, layering it. And it's opaque, so it, you can go over it unlike watercolor. Um, I did get paint all over my hands, like I said before, so. Yeah, it was a little bit annoying trying to open them one by one rather than just squeezing them out of tubes, what like gouache usually does. They do dry if you leave the case open for a little while. I think I left for <laughs> like a little while and forgot to put the cover back on. The good thing about gouache though is that it does reactivate. So. It did reactivate after I left it out, so that's just a note that I wanted to make. Here I'm going to do a test where uh, I see how opaque the paints are. This is really important when you're using gouache because you want to be able to go over colors when you're painting. Um, but it was surprisingly opaque. Uh, you can see here that I'm coloring over a black line. Um, and yeah, it did really well. Um, for the painting, I thought it was fine. Everything worked out really good and it it was really nice to use even. Um, it's definitely like a beginner gouache. I think it's slightly a step up from Reeves gouache. If you've ever used that before, um, it's like a $5 set you can get at Michael's craft store or local craft stores. Um, yeah, I love I liked the colors because they were really bright um, and they mixed well together. They did muddy up a little bit, but I, I usually uh, layer my colors pretty often. So I mean, yeah, and that's really important when you're using gouaches to keep layering. I mean, some people might not think so, but I do. This gouache set is also really cheap. It's like a dollar per paint it's got 18 colors so it's got it's like 18 dollars um on amazon anyway i did not i was not given these paints i bought them myself so i'm not sponsored by Hemi or anything i don't even really know if i'm saying that right um Hemi gouache um but yeah the only thing that i wish would have happened was uh they would have like a white palette instead of the same color as the 
lid because it came in mint or pink. So I got the mint one because I'm more of a mint girl. The reason you want a more of a, like a white uh, mixing palette is because you want to be able to see the colors that you're mixing. When you have a colored palette, it kind of um, gives it a different background and that makes it hard to see the actual color that you mixed. I would probably buy these again because they're so cheap and really great to use. I mean, I didn't have a problem using them at all. They did muddy up a little bit, but I like to layer my colors on top of each other very often. Um, but I think they worked great. I didn't have really any qualms about them. I mean, besides me forgetting on how to use gouache, but it, it definitely did do a really good job and beat my expectations a lot. If you are just beginning gouache, this is a good set because it doesn't break the bank. And it'll probably last quite a while because the wells are so deep. Um, just make sure you leave the cover on, but it won't dry out all the way, even if you do for a little while, so. So here's the finished painting. I really enjoyed painting with this gouache. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about it except for maybe buy it and try it for yourselves. Um, it's definitely like a like a student grade gouache. It dries matte instead of chalk, chalky like you would want gouache to dry. Um, if you don't know the difference, it's kind of like it falls off the page when it's chalky matte actually stays on the page um this painting was done on bristol recycled bristol um that's like my favorite to use because it doesn't have that texture that watercolor has and it's cheaper than cold press uh, if you like this painting it'll be in my etsy uh, for sale uh, and yeah i'll probably make prints too because i actually really enjoyed how this turned out this is the first time that I've ever done a review video, so let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like to see more painting videos from me. I'd love to make more eventually. Um, so yeah, I'll put all the links, all my links in the description and maybe at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.